All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I am back with another video here. Uh, another waiver pickup for the Flyers and also, uh, also some more uh, more internal moves. Um, Kevin Hayes was put on long-term injured reserve, which was the reason the Flyers were able to pick up Zach McEwen today off of waivers. Um, and as for McEwen, I think this is perfect for the Flyers. This is something I mentioned before that they need um, more of a physical presence, a guy who can fight. McEwen, he's listed at 6'3". He weighs 205 pounds. Um, he's still pretty young. He's 25 years old. He's center, shoots right. Um, and again, he's not necessarily the best offensive player, but he had some really good offensive numbers um, in junior. Uh, in Down in Gatineau, put up 31 goals in 66 games, um, 22 goals in 69 AHL games. I mean, he's a guy who's done it before. So, look... Obviously, the NHL is a role league and things like that, and, and you know you have to kind of find your way into the lineup and stay in the lineup. So he's played 55 NHL games, um, all with Vancouver. Played uh, 17 in 2019, 20, 34 in 2020, 21. Uh, but he's got 23 fights in 55 games. I mean, it, like if there's a guy that, that was perfect that the Flyers could have picked up to get some more physicality in here, it, it was definitely McEwen. And, and with the way that they did it, Obviously, they're they're very tight with the cap. I mean, I literally I have more money in my bank account right now than the Flyers do cap space. They have one hundred and thirty six dollars in cap. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is some of the jerseys that are priced in Wells Fargo Center are more money than the Flyers uh, cap space at the moment. Um, but their cap hit is eighty two thousand two hundred ninety three thousand six hundred thirty six dollars. Um, and for LTIR, they have seven hundred. Um, Seven hundred ninety-three thousand seven hundred seventy-two. This is all per cap friendly. Um, they're maxed out on contracts at fifty of fifty, um, and it also goes back to their original plan um, from before, which it, it would have been. But the thing is, is you know they would have had fourteen forwards, but obviously with Allison's injury and things like that, that was the original plan was to have the fourteen forwards. Um, but it kind of got messed up because obviously Hayes, and since he got put on LTIR, that gave the Flyers room to sign McEwen, which made sense. So again. Um, I'm curious to see where they put McEwen because, you know, they talked the other day that Brown is most likely going to play in, in, in the first game and that he is going to play. Um, now, if that's the case, that could change, but my guess is they'll most likely stay to that decision and he will play. AV did say he doesn't know if he's going to use Brown at center and put him on the, uh, and put Thompson on the left, or they'll keep Thompson at center, move Albe Bell to the left, and then put Brown on the right which they could do either or, most likely, but I personally would rather have Thompson at the fourth-line center. I think that's probably what they'll do. Um, but, again, I think for McEwen, I, I really don't see any kind of issue with it for the Flyers. Um, he was already on a contract. Um, he has one year left at under 825000 He can play center, and, he, again, he can play wing if need be, which is perfect. Um, and, again, he's that physical presence. I mean, when was the last time you actually legitimately had a guy on this team that could was that big of a body that could go out there and fight and physically like he could just be a bully like like that's all they need to do. I know everybody's gonna be like oh the Broad Street bullies thing but it's not like that anymore obviously in the league but the Flyers need that they need that guy on the bottom six that can go around and I talked to Craig Eagles if you remember the interview I did with him um, back in July and me and Craig actually we did the interview the day Ryan Ellis got traded the Flyers but um, if you go back and watch that I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, Craig had talked to me, we, we talked about a bunch of stuff, but we talked for like another hour and a half just on, on Zoom after that, and he had talked about McEwen, because he covered him in, in junior and things like that when he was in Gatineau and everything, and he told me, I called him today, and he, he I actually texted him, you know, told him that they got McEwen, and he was thrilled, he called, he told me to call him, I called him, and he said, if they treat him right in their bottom six, he'll be a fan favorite, he wasn't treated right in Vancouver, he went undrafted in the queue, and, and he has a great story, so... Um, there are a lot of things, uh, about McEwen that I think people aren't going to, to, uh, not necessarily going to look at. It's, it, it, it kind of reminds me of Pitlick. Like when Pitlick was here, everybody was like, oh my God, this guy's actually a lot better than I thought. Because yeah, again, the NHL is a role league and things like that. And, you know, these guys are, they have a lot of offensive skill at the pre pro level leagues. And they've done that before. And obviously the AHL are putting up. 52 points in 69 games with, you know, almost 25 goals in a season. That's a pretty good year in the AHL. So, um, I think he, I think maybe a change of scenery could help as well. So, um, I think this is a good pickup for the Flyers because again, I think another body in there, um, and another guy that can bring the physical presence is perfect for the team. So let me know your guys thoughts below. Remember guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye.